That's how you turn it. Okay. So, it's a beautiful day out, you know, out here in the Carolinas. You know what I'm saying? And, um, let's see what the boys are up to. It's a nice, beautiful, it's actually kind of cool in here. It's not like as hot as you would think. But we got Bill over here. Doing the uh, fiesta stuff. Yep, fiesta what? stuff. And then Steve, my boy. Yeah, we're kind of. I don't know what we're so doing. I think we'll do but he's doing the thing. God. I don't know that it's going to come out that way. But... Yeah, this stash is, dash has been a pain. A little pain in the. Behind. Like, yeah. What's up? It's moving. I mean, it's definitely moving, right? Okay. That's what I was thinking. I, it almost feels like it's still attached over here somewhere, though. I'm not sure to what. I mean, unless it's, unless it's that bolt that's in the side here, because the bolt in the side here is like 100% out. Nope. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. That bolt's not all the way out. I don't know why it's not coming all the way out. Get that 13 with the extension there. Just a little bit. I think it's. I think it's very. Whatever. Yeah. Away. Yeah. 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 See, like we're completely out over here. Like, I think the. Yeah. I think the problem is like we need to go back maybe with your side. First, and then sort of, because they bring the dashes in from the passenger side when they put them in the car from the back. So. So it probably comes in maybe a little bit on an angle and kind of swings in. Right now, like see where we're at right now here? We're like, we're touching this part of the firewall with this stuff. So I don't want to like damage this coming out. I mean, I don't think we're reusing this heater core anyway, but still, if we can get it out straight, I'd like to try to get it out straight. Not to drop the socket down in there. All right. Um, but I think probably what we're gonna do is, is like, know, as we're fucking around with pulling the dash out, like maybe you might have to just, you know, hit the gun to release it. And, you know, DeWalt, not sponsored by them, but you know, we should, we should be sponsored by DeWalt. But yeah, you know. I think it probably, and uh, we can pull the whole shifter out. I just don't know if we need to go that far with things. So. Dashboard nightmare. My boy, you know, I'm always what is that? She moves. She 
screws is not coming out. We may need to just do it with a ratchet to get down on that. Or like a small extension or something, or just a deep socket maybe. Deep socket. So after two minutes of Finessing this we bolt. We just gotta be careful as we come out that we don't pull it out too far. We it finally to got the dash somewhat loose and ready and to come out. Still to things too. That's why I'm saying we gotta just be careful from that because we're gonna be attached to things. You got a bolt here with with a harness on this side, I think, or something there. No, that's that, that's that's loose. all. Not, oh, okay, yeah. never mind. That's loose. Um, yeah, it's just these boxes on this side, at least. I gotta look here. I gotta, I gotta look at that pedal set. <clears throat> Are those boxes attached to the dash? Oh, uh, to the firewall. Oh, they, they can stay on the firewall, then. Oh, well, I mean, well, the wires are attached to the dash. Oh, yeah, then the wires gotta come off, yeah. Actually, is this? Can I get to anything? Or my handies? Uh, that's part of this harness here. Okay, so that's staying? Uh, no, that's part of the dash. Okay. That's part of the dash. It is just attached to the door here. So, okay. where's the clip puller? You got it? Yeah. Who's got it? He's got it. So. I got that side out. You got it attached to the floor there too. Yeah, I mean that's going into the dash here. Like, I mean I could disconnect this small portion here, probably. That's this connector. This one would go up with the dash, and then that's probably. Does that go into the back of the fuse box? Uh, that wire? Yeah. Okay, so... Well, to the alarm. Well, what... Yeah, but those boxes are on the firewall, right? Mm -hmm. So let me disconnect this. I can, I can get this apart. No, but I'm saying I can get this apart and that, that, that loom that's attached, like, so this part that goes into the dash here, I can separate that from the other loom here. And then, you know, we can pull it out. Kind of cool. What was what, what, that you were saying just now? So I've always wanted to pull the Fiesta dashes out this way. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it's probably the easiest way to do it without having to completely dismantle everything. The dash from right. here first. You know, like you can get it out and then pull everything apart. When I did my Fiesta dash, I did it like that guy did it in the YouTube video. He right. Just, I just started stripping everything from the yeah, front. Yeah. But then once I saw how they did it from the factory, I was like, this is dumb. Like, right. <laughs> now, now it all makes sense on why it doesn't come apart. Yeah, I mean, no, it like is more. the front like that. Right. It know? is more practical to take the entire thing out rather than just piece it out. I mean, you know, you, know, you need some, like, it's a lot of weight to lift, too. You've got the heat right, yeah. you've got the steering column, you've got, you know, a wiring harness, the dash, you know, the dash crash bar. Like, it's, it's a heavy piece <laughs> to pull out, you know, if you're going to do it by yourself. But, you know. But, Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, exactly. Pull it out and then dismantle what we need to dismantle. Actually, I think that loom does have to come out. Oh, you think so? Yeah, it's going like behind everything. And it's connected to this. Yeah, no. So this, is it. this is not part of the dash. No. Like, hey, you see this? I don't know if you can see around the shifter here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It's a, do you have like a box with a 10 mil in it? To unscrew like a box like this. No, it's just it just goes on the firewall. So yeah, it's free. Okay. So you think it's we're free? Fine. You want to try to pull it out just a little bit more? 
Uh, yeah, it's just this one connector. Yeah. Sure, it does. Oh, jeez. I can't see which way. Well, that's why it wasn't coming out because the dash was sitting right where I needed to go. Uh, yeah, just keep holding that thing until I get this thing out of here and my fingers out of here because otherwise I'm going to get crushed. Come on, you stupid thing. Uh, can you pick up the dash any higher? This thing is free now. You want to go to the other side? Okay, I'll hold it. Ready? Uh, we're attached on something. We're stuck on something. Yeah, you're basically free. Just that you're dragging on stuff. Oh, yeah. You think it's free? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, it's oh, not free. On. Someone paid for it. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because you struggle to pull this whole thing apart. To then get down to the dash. All right, now you can have a fiesta in here. Yeah, now we pull all the rest of the stuff out pretty easily. Man, that's heavy though. Yeah, right? Even though I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. If now you guys couldn't see this. Whew. What a day. So the boys helped me out. Trying to get this car apart. Today was lots of progress was made, which was great. Close this thing. Um, we ended up basically getting the car back to be a roller we got it off the lift um we pulled the front doors off pulled the whole dash out of it disassembled the dash took everything out of the engine bay everything else out of the car itself um disassembled the complete dashboard i mean you know we were in all kinds of stuff today so this is basically where we're at at this point we're just there's a door, there's a door, and then that's what the car's looking like right now. Fully stripped on the engine bay side here, other than some remnants of motor mounts, which I believe we're replacing the motor mounts. Um, obviously front doors are off. We've got nothing at all on the interior here. Now everything is stripped and out of the way. And then we have completely disassembled the dashboard because the stock dash beam does not go back in. We use portions of it, especially the steering end of things. We cut that off and use that onto our dash 
bar that comes with our cage kit, which is over there. But stock heater core and blower box is not going back in. Um, I'm basically just using like the sensors and the wires and radio infotainment system stuff because that's all CAN bus plays to itself, plays with each other. So we need to be careful with that. We're going to try to keep as many modules out of the car as we can, but the likelihood of that is very little. So we're going to have to leave all of that in the car for the most part. Completely stripped dashboard. M Sport actually cuts out this whole structure here in the dashboard. They really hack up the whole dash pad to sort of make it as light as they possibly can. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to go with that stuff um just because it is very time consuming and you're not saving much weight to be honest so um we'll see what happens there in here um the glass has got to come out early next week um in here we just got to cut the rear floor mounts the rear oem floor mounts out of the car m sport does cut this whole center cap sort of out of the car they also cut the b pillars out of the car on both sides and there's a couple of other brackets and things in the back that need to get cut um or at least that m sport does for again lightness again how much of that is really going to translate to anything uh it may not be worth all of the work to go into it um so just something i need to have a discussion with the customer and just see what you know they want to do on that front but um yeah i mean we're pretty much stripped other than cutting some seat rails out of it we're ready for caging to start happening on this thing next week yeah. if you like what you see like share subscribe i think that's what they say uh and if you can comment uh we love to interact with our 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 fans our customers um you know it's pouring outside um but uh yeah hit the like button hit the share subscribe get it to your friends let's get this stuff around